Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to recreate this awesome effect and if you watch till the end, you may be interested to join the giveaway. This effect was used in great Hollywood movies, but can be used everywhere. From music videos, commercials to travel content, and it's very popular and easy to do. Even I use it in my first YouTube video. Now let's jump into DaVinci Resolve 17 and let's start. First thing, we can reset the UI layout. Then go to the media pool and drag and drop your favorite clip into the timeline. Play the clip until you find the right spot. And using the blade edit mode, cut the clip in two parts. Move one frame using the arrow keys and create another cut. Resize the timeline until it's visible and using the selection mode, select the clip in between. Right click and select change clip speed. Here we need to make sure freeze frame is selected and press change. Based on your creative choice, you can extend the duration of the effect. Here we can see the progress so far. This step is complete and now we can move to the color page. Here we need to select the second clip. In order to create our mask, we are going to disable all the active menus to have more space. Let's zoom in at 100%. And let's create the mask using the window menu. Select the curve button. And let's draw. This is an important step, so please take your time to make it correct. I'm going very very fast for you, until my mask is complete. Now we can zoom out using the fit option. Enable the notes menu. Right click and select add alpha output and we will achieve our transparent background by connecting the blue dots. In my case it's not everything perfect so I'm going to apply the same technique to remove all the background. Click on this button and we are done with the masking. We can now go to the edit page and review the progress. In case you are happy, we can continue by duplicating the second clip into a new track and just disable that track for now. Now go to the color page to create the background black and white effect. Make sure you select the track from the bottom layer, press these two buttons to invert the selection. Go to RGB mixer, check the monochrome and play with the green and blue bars until you are happy with the result. Now we can go back to the edit page. If you check now, this should be the result. We can enable the second video layer and test again. Next step for us is to create that shadow effect for our character. For that we need to go to the effects and type color. Choose the color generator. Duplicate the second layer and now drag and drop the color generator into the second layer. Go to the inspector and here go to effects and change the color. In my case I will change to yellow. Press the OK button. We want to make our shadow visible and for that we need to play with the transform. Change the values in here until you are happy with the result. Alright, now we need to merge these two video layers into one and for that right click and select new compound clip. Press create and now we have only one clip. Move this clip to video layer number 3. Next step is to add a splash image between our character and our background. For that, go to media pool, drag and drop your image and resize to match the clip length. Go to the inspector and play with the transform values until you are happy with the result. Now we can introduce the text that will be between our character and our image. For that, go to the effects menu and type text. Drag the text to the video layer number 3 and resize as well. 
to change the text you need to go to the inspector and then change the text font color size and the position now let's play and see what we've got so far all right all looks good let's zoom in a bit and let's add the animations by creating multiple keyframes we are going to add multiple keyframes to the text character and background image now let's add more keyframes at the beginning of the clips when all the keyframing is done we can play and see the animations now we are going to introduce the last effect go to the video transition and type flash use brightness flash by dragging the effect to the bottom layer and reduce the duration of the effect now let's do the final review of the character introduction freeze frame effect Thanks a lot for watching, my name is Tudor, I'm a DaVinci of certified user and I'm happy to announce that I will create a giveaway when I will reach 1000 subscribers. I want to give you a DaVinci of Studio License and a Speed Editor Keyboard. See you in the next video.